You might have noticed that whilst playing first person games, everything appears much further away than you think it should. This is because when rendering objects in 3D space, a perspective projection is used to map the objects from 3D space to a 2D screen. This perspective projection uses a field of view to determine how tall and wide the projection is. If the accurate field of view of the human eye was to be simulated, around 150 degrees vertically and 210 degrees horizontally would be needed. If we try to apply this in game though, you can see that the view becomes very zoomed out and distorted. This happens as the projection is being crammed into a monitor that does not reflect the field of view that it's trying to display. Video games usually opt for a field of view between 60 and 100 to ensure that the player's peripheral vision feels wide enough without too much distortion. This usually results in a wider field of view than the monitor occupies in the person's vision, causing the objects in the game world to feel much further away. If we wanted to get an accurate zoom that would match real life, it would depend on how much of the screen is occupying the person's view. For example, a field of view of approximately 45 degrees would be optimal when playing on a standard 24 inch 16x9 monitor, as that's how much angular space the screen would generally occupy in the person's vision. Looking at the field of view in game, it is way too zoomed in for the player to have any peripheral vision. This low of a field of view is completely unplayable due to the lack of things you can see at once, and would most likely make the player feel ill after a while of playing. Before I discuss a potential solution to this problem, I just want to give a big thanks to Mr Macaroni Man and Benchy Bear for their support Support on Patreon. Links in the description if you're interested in supporting the development of Rift Division. So what is the solution to this? Is there any way that the player can have the best of both worlds? Something you might have noticed is that most first person shooter games will actually zoom their screen in when using a gun, even if the gun has no magnifying optic. This often felt wrong as it didn't really make much sense. However, it's actually there to allow the player to see more detail at a distance as they aim, which would more closely reflect what they'd be able to see in real life. Although, this only accounts for when the player is using a weapon, not when the player is just walking around. Because of this, you might have also seen some players aiming with their rifle at the floor and viewing the game world above at a more zoomed in level to be able to spot distant players. One solution that Daisy and Armour use is to allow the players to zoom with their eyes as well as their guns. This zoom will set the field of view of the camera to a much lower number, zooming the screen screening so the player can spot distant enemies without the need of a scope. This gives a perfect balance of allowing the player to keep a wide field of view for their peripheral vision, whilst giving the eye zoom for spotting players and having a more realistic level of zoom. I can't think of any other games that use this mechanic, but if you know any, let me know. For my game Rift Division, I have created this mechanic to allow the player to use their eye zoom for spotting targets in the distance, as a lot of engagements will take place over large distances. The field of view that I decided to use for the zoom level is 45. It's hard to decide what a good number should be due to the player's setup making a difference on whether it would feel accurate or not. But this seems like a good number for now and I can always change it down the line if necessary. This should help encourage longer and more realistic engagement distances, plus it doubles up as a nice way of observing things in the game. If you like this video, you should go watch one of these videos here and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.